Hello everybody and welcome back, I'm Count Christo and this is the War of Three Oceans in Man the Guns. We are playing as Japan and we are crushing our way through here. Absolutely demolishing the Chinese resistance once their main battle formations had been encircled and destroyed. It really is like uh, kicking in the door and the whole rotten structure coming crashing down. How many divisions does China even have left? <laughs> Barely 25. Ouch. <laughs> Poor China. They suffer so. Okay, good. Let's keep going in here. Alright. Now, however, we're going to fight Zybin Mei, who may be uh, more powerful. They have, uh, you know, almost as many men as China does total. Defending this one little mountainous area so could cause problems we will see we will see oh they're actually behind a river right nice we have these guys encircled I hadn't noticed keep pushing in there and in there good 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 so on the naval front we're slowly moving men out to secure the most important naval bases in the Pacific making sure that we're not uh at immediate risk of losing those should war with the US break out. Let's exercise the reserves. Okay. Good. In there. You guys cutting down. Yes, yeah, I told you, as soon as we make contact with their front line, suddenly they're all interested in this war. <laughs> Do -do -do. But hopefully they've become too interested in the Eastern Front. Which will allow me to just rush their capital and victory points over here. We'll see if that turns out to be true. It looks so far like it might be. There's the better light tank version. A few more refineries. Now it's time for uh, infrastructure again, looks like. Where have we got lots of slots? Well, here actually there's some steel as well, so that seems... Like a valuable place to build it. Uh, here as well, there's steel. There's loads of slots. It's quite a lot of infrastructure we're going to have to build there. But hey, it's giving me steel as well. So that's okay. We need lots of steel for all of our uh, all of our many, many ships that we're going to build. I should check actually. How are we doing compared to the United States in terms of dockyard count? Because they will have had. They have focuses for it. They haven't built any new dockyards yet. Okay. So we do have slightly more dockyards than them. That's really good. Obviously, when they kick their economy into gear, they're able to produce dockyards massively, massively faster than we are. But I think Germany being so far behind on uh, on their focuses because of the civil war slowing them down might mean uh, America wakes far later on, which could be very good for us. So I'll cross my fingers that that is in fact the case. Nice. Going to pocket some uh, Soviet divisions here. Always good. Good. Another little pocket. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Another one available here. This time with some uh, some communist divisions, but of a different stripe. Maoists rather than Stalinists. I really don't want to push into these mountaineers in the mountains. Cruiser modernization. Excellent. And we are going to go straight to long lance torpedoes. Because that means we can... Uh, that gives us screen penetration with our torpedoes even when the enemy has full, otherwise full screening. Which should be really, really useful. Uh, that will be much easier to explain when we actually have a naval fight. Which we uh, we still haven't had any of yet this, uh, this campaign. How many episodes has it been? Ten? Not a single, uh, not a single naval combat yet that I know of, anyway. And I would know of it because I'd have a report about it up here. Sixteen naval experience might be enough to finally, finally commission a 36 BB. Why can't I put radar center on there? I swear I have some radar. All right, it's got that. A good secondary battery, good battleship armor. And now the question becomes: like, do we fill out? Oh yeah, I could really do with better AA. Do we fill out the rest of these slots? Like, do I put... 
a bunch more heavy batteries on here. I mean, here, let's look at the maths. It's it's a 25% cost increase for about a... What is that? 13... So, like, a 50% damage increase by putting that on there. Putting yet another... It's another big increase for a smaller cost increase. So, we should, I think, have lots and lots of these. I don't think I need the detection. I think we should put on more heavy batteries. To really pummel the enemy battleships. Yeah. I'm going to I'm going to put another heavy battleship heavy heavy gun on it. Because you know, you're investing le in basically less armor and less engine expense for the same amount of for, for more guns. Which is just seems good, right? <laughs> so I think we're gonna I think we're gonna do that. Right, what was that? What was, I, was it for cons for production? Why? That's right. We need some light tank twos, and we will main gun it up. Although we should also reliability it up. Not quite that much. Okay. Good. Next research. It's gonna be something naval. <laughs> We should start working on base strike. Really, shouldn't we? Get those carrier techs done. You know the Americans will have researched some base strike by the time we go to war with them. So it's imperative that we have at least some, if only just to be on parity with the uh, those scary American carriers. No, no, no. Don't let them take that port. Ooh, although cut them off here if possible. That would be even better. Cut in there, good. What did I just do? No, that's not what I meant to do. You guys, keep uh, keep going inland. In fact, some of you, some more of you could come south, ideally. Okay. Good. And good. Nice. Now, plane reassignments. Uh, we did just capture an airbase over southern China. Excellent. That's where all the heaviest fighting is, so let's put all our planes over southern China. Might be too many for this airbase, actually. In which case, we'll have to reassign some. Could fly out of Taiwan. It's a bit further away, but... It's not the worst thing in the world. Uh, and you guys probably need missions. Be, uh... Be favourite. Yeah, slightly too many. So, which are the long-range long range ones? These CAS. Oh, we're almost at another one here. Let's just... Let's just capture this airbase and then use that one. That seems great. Nice. You guys. Oh, no. Don't let them pocket me. We're trying to pocket them. Can't have them. Pull the old switcheroo. You guys come back around there. Good. Okay. In the center, we're still just cruising in. Now I've touched the Ibn May. I kind of have no problem with rushing for the capitulation if we can. There's a bit more naval experience. Throw on another heavy battery. So that's an increase of 11. For only like a 10% cost increase. It does make it a lot slower. That's okay. Does anti-air slow it down? No. I think that more anti-air on these seems valuable. Because they're going to be at heavy risk from enemy carriers. Okay, so here's the battleship. And I think we want... At least 10 dockyards on battleships immediately. Because they're, uh, obviously, they're pretty freaking important. So let's dramatically cut down on scout raiding screen production. And start working on these. Good. And we are now going to need to import more steel. Which is unfortunate, but the way of the world. Not quite that much. But as this infrastructure as these infrastructure projects complete, that will help with steel. So with any luck, those will be prompt. All right, cut these guys off, take that port, and then we have cut all of these lot off from supply. Excellent. Come on, surely you can finish these guys. I know they're in the mountains, but there's only so many of them. We have a huge number of troops in the region, so we should really be able to force them out. Without too much trouble. Do 
this. Good. You guys keep coming in here. Good. To the capital. Tarry not. Okay, good. How close are we now to Chinese capitulation? 75% of the way. A period of peace wouldn't do us any harm. Nice bit bit with 100% uh, stability and all that good stuff. Would be, uh, would be pleasant. I don't deny it. If we could run through here, that would also be glorious. There's the fighter. And there's the carrier fighter. Let's switch it up. I'm not going to invest in making my normal fighters very good. We're going to make our carrier fighters superb. But our normal fighters I don't care about nearly to the same degree. For obvious reasons. This war is a war of the oceans. Okay, good. And don't let them pocket you. Ah, right, okay. The air base is now under our control, which means some of these guys could shift. Excellent. We have quite a lot of carrier cas. Am I producing carrier cas? I'm not, right? No, so let's just use them. Because I'm not going to want to use them in on carriers. We're just going to use the naval bombers. <clears throat> Even if that's not necessarily perfectly efficient, I think it's... It's efficient enough, basically. All right, you guys. Uh, it's mountains. Might be able to push through anyway, though. Looks like these are some pretty beefy divisions. Support that push to Nanking. I'm sorry, Nanning. But the darn Soviets are in the way. Good. So these guys are now without supply. As long as I can hold on to this port. Oh, no, now they should have it through here again. <laughs> but they have very, very little control of edge provinces, so we might be able to take it back off them pretty easily. More puppet divisions, that's fine. Alright, in you go, keep going. Good, good, good. Fantastic work. Oh, these guys are now pocketed from behind, but I just need to, I just need to get to here, so we can actually count Yunnan as having been prodded in this war so that they're actually part of the peace deal. I think that's how it works. I don't know. I don't recall seeing changes about that in the uh, patch notes, but I could be wrong. I have been known to be wrong occasionally in the past. I know you may find that hard to believe, but it has happened once or twice. You guys stop exercising, please. Nice, this guy's getting very experienced. And that's all of the stuff we need for the BBE. So now I suppose we can decommission the Congo. Um, do we want heavy cruisers? I think we don't. I think I don't need any heavy cruisers. One thing we do need, however, is my scouts need sonar. How much of a cost increase is that? It's not much. 75 cost. Really quite cheap. Do my screens need sonar? I don't know that they do. The anti-submarine ship definitely needs sonar. Uh, that's all of them, right? So the two scouts. Oh, I didn't... Uh, it killed his name for some reason. That's bizarre. Can I, can I set it back to what it was? Um, by uh, finding it in the list. Well, there's 36 Scout. No changes have been made. But the change to the name has been made. Oh, I was switching to another one to change. Right, okay. There's 36 Scout. There we go. Okay, so the Destroyer and Cruiser Scout ships need upgrading, basically. So you guys... Go to port. Uh, sorry, these aren't the scout ship vessels. Right. Uh, I don't know if I have any outside the reserve. Here they are. This is the 36 scout. So I can now retrofit an upgrade to the new 36 scout. It takes six days. 
<laughs> Apparently it's extremely easy to add in some sonar. Fair enough. <laughs> Is that all of the ones that I've made? It doesn't seem like, uh, like enough. Have these guys changed their... No, okay. Oh, one of them's repairing, right. Uh, do I have any scouts in my actual scout forces? Looks like no. Well, obviously we'll want to change that. It's a shame we got all these early destroyers, but they're not really you know, useful at all because they have such terrible modules on them. I suppose I could retrofit my old destroyers to be like anti-sub ships. I could retrofit on... Or like mine laying. I could retrofit on mine laying rails onto my old destroyers and then send them somewhere dangerous to lay mines, not really caring if they lived or died. That could work. It's not a bad idea, actually. How you doing, China? 75% still. Keep pushing him. Not experiencing any more resistance? Oh, there is a bit. But I really think we could just push. We could just push for the win now. I'm, ho I'm, I'm very hopeful that we can, at least. Don't let them pocket you. Do, 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 do. If you could reinforce in here and you too. No, actually, you probably keep pressing there. That's good. Nice. Okay. Obviously, getting highly disorganized in this uh, Chinese offensive, especially in the center. But that's okay. They don't really have the troops necessary to oppose us anymore. Still, it's a waste of time and a waste of equipment to still be fighting these guys. Ideally, this would have been. Uh, over by now. Oh, uh, excuse me? Oh, God, I lost the airbase again. No. Freaking Soviets stole it from me. Give it back. Let's go flank them with these cav. Hopefully that should... Uh, if we can put them, give them the encircle penalty, that should reduce them enough. Plus, that might be the end of Guanxi Clique if I take this, this uh, capital off them. Maybe, with a bit of luck. 98%. Just a few more empty tiles will do it. Just rush rush into any empty tile, random empty tiles. Okay, that's a problem. These guys need reliefing. <laughs> oh, that looks like they've gone. Nope, just a big monthly lag. Weird, I wonder why that was. I guess something significant happened on the world stage. Don't know what, though. England hasn't, like, federated or anything. Got the Chinese, the Japanese, uh, sorry, the uh, Spanish Civil War is still going on. That's crazy. That's absolutely crazy. Okay. Pushing in here. Come on, come on. Let's just. I want to see the end of this war. Preferably this episode. I would love it if we could uh, come to an amicable peace solution, China. How about you give me everything you own? And I give you nothing. All right, there goes Guanxi Clique. Good. So you guys rapidly redeploy to crush into Yuan, and you guys can deploy just bulldoze up from the south. Nice. I would also like to. Oh, okay, good. We can get to Zabinway from the south and Communist China. That way we can, even if they, even if the war goal, sorry, not the war goal, the peace deal system hasn't changed, we should be able to uh, make contact with them that way. Good. Get in there. In there. Finish off these encircled guys. Nice. You guys, show a little bit of haste. Don't you know we need to end this episode in like 30 seconds? <laughs> we need this capitulation. 76% of the way there. Oh, and they appear to be abandoning the north. I guess Zybin May maybe had troops up here defending uh, Shanxi. <laughs> it's possible. It's not highly probable, though. I wonder, maybe those troops have just moved south. Now they see this uh, huge incursion down here. Alright, good. There's the contact with Yuan we needed. Excellent. 
good. And we've, of course, got that airbase back now. So some of my cas can fall back. Good. Oh, actually, up here would be favourite. Fantastic. Should make things easier as we push in here. You two, uh, try that while we come around from behind as well. Give a bit more support there. Excellent. Okay, production-wise... Oh, I lost some military factories, apparently. That's annoying. It's going to kill all my production efficiency. Well, let's reduce our investment in infantry equipment temporarily to buff that up. And now we need some aluminium. Any of my... My Guko produces 10. It's a good start. But there's more... I swear there's some aluminium. Isn't there some aluminium in China? Not that I can see. It's unfortunate. There's definitely some... Uh, yeah, in Malaya and Java. So hopefully we'll have access to that soon. <clears throat> With a little bit of luck and a great deal of naval warfare, we should be able to get... Uh, get our hands on that. Okay. There goes the Chinese capital. Just before we're going to be able to make contact up here. So hopefully that isn't enough to capitulate them. Let's move this tank up here just in case. <clears throat> it's going to take them a long time to cross that river. We could get into communist China at the same time as well. That would be ideal. Oh, they did reinforce up here a bit. <clears throat> oh, maybe you can break in. Though it's going to be another cross, another major river crossing, which will take time. Oh, that one wasn't actually enough to capitulate them. Okay, cool. Perfect. <clears throat> okay, you can get in here. Might as well capitulate Yunnan. More communist threat defeated. Good. Never unhappy to hear that. Okay, good. Total air superiority. Got a fairly good amount of air XP. Now all we have to do is touch this tile <laughs> before they capitulate and we should be okay. Speaking of them capitulating, this should be enough if we take these two, I suspect. That's a five, isn't it? Yeah, what's this? Three. Not bad. You can crush them there. Start heading down here. You guys can head for the capital via here. Nice! <clears throat> okay. And we're touching Yuan. And there we are in the communist stronghold. Fantastic. No, they reinforced the tile. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Still, I think maybe just fighting them is enough. I can never remember how it works. The the old untouched in war modifier thing confuses me to this day. Evidently. You guys strike the capital from behind. We snuck behind enemy lines. <laughs> Good. Okay, speed four, and that's the end of the war, I think. Ninety-six percent. Come now. Take the capital. Yep, they're retreating. And... 98%. Becoming absurd. <laughs> oh, right. We haven't taken this city up here. Fair enough. Just grab that for me, would you? More free mills. Let's put a couple on here, because I know some of them will be broken. So it's good to have a buffer at the bottom. In fact, yeah, let's, uh, let's do it the smart way. I want infantry equipment. Five of my infantry equipment factories. Down here. So if we ever lose any factories or if they get damaged, it takes them off infantry equipment, not all the other stuff. Good. Now, can we keep pushing in here if you can? And take this city here. And this one is on the very cusp of falling. And that will be it. That will end the Grand Japanese-Chinese War. 
and the Japanese-Chinese conflict, the greater Japanese-Chinese conflict, which of course lasted much longer than just this particular round of warfare. There it goes! Oh, I never did the secure China focus, so I can't remember what that does. <laughs> <clears throat> well, do we just take absolutely all of it? <clears throat> I mean, I'm very tempted, I must say, to just take absolutely all of it. We're definitely going to take anything which has a coastline. That's for sure. I mean, it was a conquer war goal. Really, I'd just be being dishonest if I didn't take it all. Um, I mean, we need the steel. We could puppet them instead. Puppeted, they would be uh, worth more factories <clears throat> because they would uh, complete their focus trees and things and generate more factories that way. They'd be worth more manpower. But I don't think manpower's an issue. I'm going to take it all. I think the Grand Japanese Empire needs needs some uh, some extra clay. So we're just going to take it all. Oh, okay, so Xinjiang, damn it. We should have contacted Xinjiang. Oh, well. And that's all of it. Boom. <laughs> Japan's looking pretty beefy. <laughs> Nice. Very nice. So, Dutch, are you going to join a, a faction if I declare on you? Oh, what's this? Oh, right, that's not the Brit. I thought that was who was leading the British. No. Oh, he's going motion of no confidence. He's going to take no more appeasement. Which lets him generate war goals much more easily. So, the Dutch, they're becoming fascist, but as Democrats, they can only join factions at 80% world tension. So if we can get to war with the Dutch East Indies, take all this land before 80% world tension, then we might be in pretty good shape. There's more iron deposits to exploit. I don't think we want to do any of these. Not yet, anyway. Okay, anything else in the focus tree we need to do about China? We can develop Chinese resources. You get more prospect from resource decisions, and you get some more aluminium. Well... Aluminium is something we are short of right now. So I wouldn't mind getting a little more of that. Let's trade with the Reich. And some more rubber. So rubber obviously is going to be something that's going to be problematic. And we got some more factories. <clears throat> I would like... I could convert the old carrier naval bombers. Let's make more. Like that. Seems good. And we're going to need yet more rubber. God, it's expensive. One more, please. And no longer do we need to import from the Soviets. That's exquisite. Showing resistance occupation, but I, I suspect it's going down. Yes, indeed. Alright. Our um, military police no longer necessary on the front. Good. Okay, the glorious Empire of Japan has secured its rightful place and taken control of uh, all of China. Now everyone dislikes us because we caused so much world tension. Which, yeah, I mean, fair enough. <laughs> Next step, uh, it's got to be... Uh, I mean, Vietnam, if France were to fall, would be, would be good. I mean, the first thing we're going to do... Oh, there won't be send volunteers to the Republicans. That's a shame. <laughs> I wanted to try and hold out the Republicans just holding these three provinces again. You can do that for years sometimes. It's great. <laughs> we could go to war with Italy. It would be a wacky, a wacky thing to do, but it could work. Like, just naval invade across here, <laughs> into here, and then establish a nice African base from which to start our next plan. But either way, whatever we do in... The, in next. It's going to be in the next episode. Until then, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.